welcome back everybody as those of you who follow me on facebook know i posted the other day that i sheared a part off uh while shooting the other day on an ar and actually caught it on video so i'm gonna roll in the video actually has this happen but basically what happened was on this ar10 here this is a home build ar10 it's a mega up, upper and lower handguard with a fax and firearms uh, 16 inch 5r barrel on there and it's suppressed which is a uh, key here this has the uh, suppressed armament systems reaper mx out there on the end and the interior parts the lower build kit is a critical capabilities lower build kit and it has the uh, bolt carrier group from aim surplus the nitride or correction the nib one so uh, basically what happened was as it was going home in the last round it fired and the bolt just went forward busting the bolts catch and uh, went all the way into the chamber which sort of is the problem right so normally a bolt catch breaking isn't really a catastrophic uh, type of failure because the gun will still run the last round just won't hold open but on this one the bolt catch actually went straight into the chamber as you can see here in the picture that i'm rolling in so uh went in there stopped the gun up i didn't have a uh, rod to knock it out with so that was the end of shooting for that day so that's pretty much it i just wanted to kind of explain what you guys who follow me on facebook saw over there that is what happened now uh, one thing i want to point out is that on 308s and nine millimeter ars this is somewhat common if you will uh, particularly on 308s that are suppressed for whatever reason that large bolt carrier group going home uh, the bolt catches just tend to not last as long so this one here has just over 2,000 rounds through it so it's got some pretty good use on it for a 308 and uh, it gave out so it's a cheap part to fix it's not really too big of a deal but something to look out for and just have a heads up on if you have 9 millimeter or 308 ARs particularly so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions or anything like that post down below in the comment section but i figured you guys would get a kick out of seeing a weapons failure i know everyone likes to talk about it on the internet when they happen so uh it happened and uh we're gonna get this gun up and running here in about 30 minutes so that's about it thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video